No penises, please. Lesbian who wants to ban trans women and men from her public parties comes under fire, but she fires back. It's humiliating to be told to include someone with a dick. Could you imagine if this was reversed? If it was men fighting to exclude women, how, how would they portray that? How would the media tell that story? But for some reason, they're, they're kind of favorable towards, uh, towards this one. No, a lesbian who wants to ban anyone with penises from attending her drag events has really has vowed to take her fight against anti-discrimination watchdog to the high court. Jess Hoyle wants to hold lesbian-only drag nights at her Tasmanian hometown of uh, no, Lauchiston, but would refuse to welcome transgender women or men. Wanting to do everything by the book, Ms. Hoyle applied for an exemption from the Tasmania's Oh, Tasmania's Anti-Discrimination Act of, wow, current year minus 24, to hold her female-only event. Hey, guys, this is your chance. Enforce this shit equally. If you're not allowed to have men's-only spaces, women aren't allowed to have theirs either. And if women don't like it, then they can let us have our spaces and they can have theirs back too. But uh, we're not going to go both ways on this one. Anti-discrimination commissioner Sarah Bolt denied an exemption, saying there was a significant risk Miss Hoyle would be breaking the law. You know, oh, just let her do it and let her get sued for it. That would be funnier. So Miss Hoyle has gone on a, an administrative to get an exemption. Miss Bolt told the Daily Mail Straya that it has it was important to understand she has no power to stop Miss Hoyle from holding her event. Yeah, well, that's that's true with a lot of these organizations, like a lot of these so-called watchdogs. They exist basically to warn you when you're about to fuck up. Should you choose to ignore their warnings, fine. Get sued. If that's what you want, we try to warn you. Well, Ms. Arthur Ford said it was important for the lesbian whammons uh, to have their own spaces and for gay men to do the same. Uh-huh. Hey, as long as you're also willing to fight for the right for men to be able to exclude people they don't like, because I'm all for freedom of association. There were queer events, but they were mixed, and a lot of lesbians didn't like going there because of the breeding ground for heterosexual men. She told the Daily Mail Australia, oh, how sad. You got outsiders forcing their way into your spaces and co-opting them? Aw. Now, because of self-ID laws, we have to take in biological men who think they could be something else. And it's really not that fair. It wasn't safe for same-sex attracted whammons. Lesbians have lost all their spaces. Welcome to the club. Maybe I'd have more sympathy for you if it wasn't a lot of you guys pushing for us losing our spaces. But hey, this is what you want, right? In denying an exemption, Tasmanian Anti-Discrimination Commissioner Sarah Bolt argued it would be offensive, humiliating, intimidating, insulting to ask people to prove they were biologically female. And what, are you going to make them drop trow? No, Ms. Bolt uh, believed Ms. Hoyle's application went uh, further than other state exemptions by requiring people to provide intimate uh, information about their bodies to gain access to the proposed events. Ms. Hoyle blasted the commissioner's arguments. I think it's actually humiliating towards lesbians being told they have to include someone with a dick. I think she should be arrested for hate speech at this point. Yeah, this is clearly hate speech. No, that's fine. Uh, if he wants to be transgender, it's okay. By the end of the day, trans women uh, are trans women. In other words, they are men. Oh, YouTube, that's not me. I'm all for uh, supporting our lovely, strong, independent trans sisters as they take over women's spaces. I'm all for that. You know me. I'm not even saying that facetiously. It's not, I, it's not sarcastic. I, I'm all for that. So YouTube, I'm not the transphobe here. It's this lesbian. That, that bigot is, is saying that shit, okay? Should be arrested for hate speech. No, she denied she would be peering into any trousers to sort out uh, who was trans or who the trans women were. You know, I, I was going to say you generally don't have to look in anyone's pants to figure this out. But then I remembered these are lesbians we're talking about, so I, I could see why they need that precaution. <laughs> so you can sort of tell just by looking at them. You can tell by their voice and their walk. You uh, can look at their hips that know they are a man. Oh, what a bunch of bigotry. I don't know if I can continue reading this article. That's uh, so much bigotry. YouTube might ban me for it. And we're programmed to seek biological sex. We're not programmed to seek made-up gender identities. Oh, shots fired.
Alphabet Soup is same sex attracted. Why would I want a bloke? Uh, can that they can have their events? I can have mine. No, you can't have yours because your sisters made it impossible for us to have ours. So until we actually can have ours, you're not going to have yours either. And why uh, should we be gaslighted out of who we are? If you are trans, good for you, but don't force it on me. Yeah, sounds like an alt right Nazi to me. No, trans advocates group Transforming Tasmania argues Minnesota's proposed events are discriminatory, saying they deny the existence of trans women. <laughs> yeah. Make them fight each other. Lesbians versus trans women. Let's go. No, Ms. Ho's case is before the Tasmanian Civil Administrative Tribunal, which has a November deadline to come to a decision. Yeah, we see with the Vic case how, how the courts handle their deadlines. So Anna Kerr is uh, from the Feminazi Legal Clinic, who's representing Ms. Hole, said the tribunal uh, could rule lesbians are a disadvantaged group who are benefited by discriminating against biological males. Oh, God. It figures these turfs would all be in it together, huh? However, it could also show Tasmania's laws are inconsistent with Commonwealth sex discrimination legislation who need a high court challenge to prove. This could yet turn into a test case as a, uh, on this important question. If the ruling goes uh, doesn't go her way, Ms. Hoare is prepared to take the case to the high court and has already raised 3000 for legal costs. Jesus! 3000 Austin, This is Australian dollars, so that's like 30 bucks U.S. You think that's... Okay, you know, m- maybe Australian court isn't as greedy as American court is. Fuck, here in the U.S., if you want to take a case to the Supreme Court, you'd need like $30 million. No, this isn't about hate. It's about sitting down and having a conversation about what are our rights and fundamental rights and fundamental demands. No, it's about hate. Now, what I'm seeing is demands of biological men wanting to come into lesbian spaces and lesbian dating apps and gaslight the majority of same-sex attracted women. This is what we call the Uno reverse maneuver, by the way. You don't like it when it's done to you, do you? Fucking bigot. It's not good, and we need to have spaces set up to cater for trans and uh, gender diverse. So that means uh, them having their own dating apps, their own spaces, and their own events. Wow. Now, th- this is definitely something that uh, a bigot would say. This fucking bigot is implying that trans women aren't women. See how that goes for you in court.